Hey guys, Speed Robo here, and when I say Speed Robo, I'm actually talking about, you know, the card game company Speed Robo. What, was there a different Speed Robo you were thinking of? The two are unrelated, I promise, they're not, they're, they're the same person. Uh, so anyone who's confused and is like, what is? what am I talking about here? Basically, Speed Robo Games, an indie card game company, has released, as far as I'm aware, their first physical card game. Uh, they're a very small indie company comprising of, well, one person and a PR manager, basically. Uh, and, of course, he's a YouTuber as well, one that I've interacted with and talked to a bunch in the past, a lot in the past. So there's your warning that this might be biased. Uh, but basically, he's released uh, System Gate, which is a brand new collectible card game. And I'm going to take a look at the cards that I was sent and uh, give you a quick look at them basically. So uh, before I start, this is a review copy. Yes, you heard that right, this channel is now big enough to start receiving review copies, I guess. Uh, so this was provided by the, well, the creators of the game basically. So, uh, but yes, the, the point of this video is to just kind of take a look at these cards, show you what they're like, uh, maybe answer some questions about them and that kind of thing. Uh, this isn't gonna be exactly the most gameplay focused video in the world. I might do a follow-up video where I talk a bit more about the gameplay once I've had some, you know, games in. But for now, we're just going to kind of uh, take a look at these and look at the cool looking cards, basically. Uh, so th these are what I received. Uh, of course, this is just the review copy. So what you may end up receiving when you end up receiving cards yourself uh, may be different. But this is what I received. So I received uh, a box that had these two in it. And we're gonna take a, a quick look. I'm gonna look at this one first because I like this little mascot character. And don't worry, Speed Robo, because I know you're watching this. I did bring some card sleeves this time. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that much of an idiot. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna take a crack open of these, and we're gonna sleeve them because I guess hypothetically, these are probably the rarest cards I own by default. Uh, Let's see, my scissors are kind of blunt, there we go. Let's make sure those are out of frame. Okay, and let's take a look at these. I'm going to be very careful with these because, as far as I'm aware, I am one of the first people in the entire world to receive any system gate card. So these are probably kind of a rarity right now. Um, let's take an open. Ooh. There we go. And then let's pop these cards out. Ooh, immediately, these feel really nice. Like, wow. Because, of course, this is a very indie card game. Very small company making these. But these feel really nice. They feel like... They feel like playing cards, if that makes sense. They're very kind of glossy feeling, I guess. But... They feel pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't hate just playing with these unsleeved, actually. Like... There's a nice kind of feeling to them. They they slide very easily. If you can kind of see that. They're sliding very easy. That's not too bad. Of course, most people are going to be playing with them sleeved. Um, but it's good that they feel nice right out of the gate. And as far as I'm aware, no real warping or anything. But again, they're very playing card-like. I don't know if that's like... That's probably an intentional thing. But like, they do feel nice. That's good. I was kind of worried about that. I was like, oh. Are these going to feel terrible? Now, uh, this may be a bit of an unfair comparison, but this is a video, by the way, this is like a plastic window. I was a little worried about that, that this would be just a cutout. And that like the cards would get stuck when you try to shove them in, like the, the edge would get stuck on this bit. But no, there is no actual like ridge really. It's, it's one full thing. So nothing should get stuck in here. So that's a nice little deck box. Obviously it won't fit any sleeve cards, but it's a nice little storage device. Now, as I was saying, this might be a little unfair, but I have a largely unopened Pokemon deck to kind of compare this experience with because I do I do my openings properly, damn it. I'm going to review these cards. So yeah, I prefer how the Pokemon ones feel, obviously, but then again, this one's got Nintendo money behind it. So like, how big are the cards. So they are Pokemon, as I expected, that's why I got the Dragon Shields out. They are Pokemon sized. 
So there you go. They are the standard American card game size. They are Pokemon sized. They are Magic the Gathering sized. They are not Vanguard or Yu-Gi-Oh sized. In fact, I have some Vanguards over here. If I was more prepared, I would have grabbed that earlier. Whoops. Here's a random Vanguard card, Photon Bomber Wyvern. Uh, yep, too small, as you can see there. Very small. But you know what? I, I prefer these. Uh, that's another thing I, I should actually mention. Uh, whilst I don't have any on me right now to compare with, uh, this game was inspired by and is a homage to Future Card Buddy Fight. Uh, so anyone who's interested in Buddy Fight, uh, that is something to kind of bear in mind. Uh, so there are going to be a lot of mechanics and stuff in this game that are very similar to Buddy Fight. In fact, I'm, I'm not going to put these back in the box. I'm going to keep these out to compare them. Uh, because Pokemon seems like the closest comparison on me right now. And so because these are the size of Pokemon cards, that means they're also the size of Buddy Fight cards. So gameplay-wise and everything, this is very Buddy Fight. But, well, we kind of need a Buddy Fight right now, don't we? Um, so I guess there's that. So I have this, like, I guess a rule card that kind of shows you uh, the signature move and everything. And then you got like a little uh, system gate is a card game where players create their own decks from cards they have collected to battle with each other. Join your gate master on the field of battle, cast amazing skills and team up, uh, amazing spells and team up with powerful units. We hope you enjoy this exciting card game. And then you've got the signature of three of the people he worked on it. Uh, that's a good point, actually. Uh, the artist, to get my notes up, is I.E. Gaia. So I think he's he's done like books and stuff, and that's kind of cool. But yeah, so uh, let's let's take a look at these. So here's our little mascot character, Celestial Rivon Wyvern. Nor I do think this is a cute little design for a mascot character. Let's uh let's start saluting these. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty long video. <laughs> Let's get my dragon shields out. Pretty full box of dragon shields, so hopefully I'll have enough to sleeve everything here because I'm gonna look after these. Uh, yeah. So, ooh, here we go. Here's a nice look. So yes, this is basically your buddy uh, for anyone who's familiar with buddy fight. This is your main card that the rest of the deck revolves around. At the start of your end phase, you must pay two energy. If you do, search your deck for a finale unit, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. You may only use this once per turn. So let's let's start sleeping these. Let's see how well they fit into a dragon shield. Feels a little tighter in a dragon shield than a, than a Pokemon card, but it still fits in fine. So there you go. Your your card sleeves will work. That's good to know. Smart. He fought through like the most basic, obvious fundamentals, didn't he? He was like, hmm, will this card game fit the cards that everyone uses? So here's the Venus gate. You may use Venus cards. Hmm. A body fight flag. I see. I see. <laughs> But like I said, it started off as a buddy fight fan project, so that makes sense. Ooh, we got more copies of Naro. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's kind of quickly sleeve that. So yeah, the way these are designed and laid out, very nice. They've done the uh, they they've definitely done the bush road thing, where, like the art takes up most of the card. You can see the glare from like my dragon shield there. Um, but yeah, I, I quite like it. The UI, very simple, easy to understand. All the numbers are nice and big. The fonts are nice and readable. That stuff's all very, very good. You kind of you kind of worry with these sorts of games, like because it's so new and because it's made by such a small team and everything, that there's going to be some fundamental stuff that they mess up on. But uh, everything's looking pretty good so far, honestly. I'm, I'm really impressed with these. I mean, obviously, the art style is not going to be to everyone's taste, but I think it's very kind of cute, you know? Uh, so, let's see. Ooh, we're getting, a we're getting a lot of copies of this Noro guy, huh? Let's uh, put that in there. Like so. And then let's put this one in here, like so. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably only going to sleeve this deck and then just take a quick look at the other one or I'm going to sleep both or I'm just going to look through the cards. So let's see. Blessings of the Stars. Put the top card of your deck into your energy. Then if you have a Celestial Rivern on your field, 
You put the top two cards of your deck into your energy, you may only cancel blessings to the stars once per turn. And if we take a quick look on the bank, this is what the banks look like. The back of the card is the gate image that the name that the name of the game is named after. You got a nice little logo over there, and then you got Speed Robo Games logo there that my, that my camera refuses to focus on. I'm sorry. Uh, so for anyone who wants any like bonus info and everything, uh, speedrobogames.com is the place to go. That has all the information you need. Uh, Speed Robo also made a kind of introductory video introducing the game and everything. So there's that to it. So let's sleeve these extra blessings of the stars. I do really like the art, you know. It's very different, you know. It's very weird, but I like that. I'm I'm very much a sucker for um things that are unique. This is unique. This is Ooh, let's look at this guy. Um Cold Clone Wyvern. If it will focus, camera. <laughs> I know the lighting's a bit weird in here, but that's January for you. I usually use like natural lighting for this kinds of video. I record right up to a window. But because it's January, we don't get much sunlight. <laughs> so I think the focusing is having a little bit of a struggle. Um yeah. No no effect text on this one. This is a very vanilla card here. Let's uh sleeve this. You know, maybe it would be worth it to just not sleeve everything, but I've gone too far now to, to, to go back. But yeah, again, I can't get over how the cards feel. I've also noticed the quality control is pretty good on these. Like the centering, for example, on these cards looks nice. Obviously the borders are pretty small, so it's kind of difficult to tell. Ooh. Ooh. Dragon Campfire. You may cast this spell... Uh, you may cast this card if your life is 10 or less, discard uh, your hand and draw three cards. That's my favorite one in terms of artwork so far. I really like that one. Cute little cat at a campfire. I like it. I also like the kind of storytelling of it being a dragon campfire with it being a cat. There's a story there. <laughs> there's, there's a story behind that one. So for anyone who doesn't know the lore behind this game, uh, the premise is pretty interesting. Basically the idea is what if the planets in our solar system that we we're already familiar with did have life on them, basically. So you got Venus and Mercury and that kind of stuff. Um, and that's pretty cool. So this is a spell card. That makes sense. That makes sense. What is this card? Emerald Scales. You may only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn. If you do not have a unit in the center, counter, fizzle the attack you gain to life. Nice. And again, I like the art. This is this is giving me Sonic Adventure vibes. You know the beginning cutscene in Sonic Adventure? Um, where like it shows the close-up of chaos. I'm very happy with that. I like Sonic Adventure. Specifically Sonic Adventure 1, more so than Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. Um, let's actually just take a quicker look. Because I want to speed things up a bit here. So you get those. Uh, I'm liking, we seem to be getting a playset of basically every card here. I'm a big fan of that. I'm a very big fan of getting a playset. Because these are decks more so than anything else. And so you can actually play with them. And I like that. This isn't Vanguard where you had to buy four copies of a deck. <laughs> to get all the cards you need. Um, someone cost to play one energy. When it's card enters the field, destroy the unit on your opponent's center. Wyvern. Uh, giant Flare. Wyvern. Nice. So yeah, you get four copies of that. Ooh, this is another one I really like. Uh, Gleaming Blade Wyvern. Uh, can you focus, please, camera? There we go. If your opponent does not have a unit in the center, this card gains two crit. Nice. Let's see. So very dragon themed, I see. Uh, Glittering shy, uh, Sky Wyvern, a shining star. Summon cost to pay free energy. If your opponent does not have a unit in the center, this card gains 8,000 defense. Nice. Ooh, here we go. I, I heard about these cards. <laughs> you ever heard of Buddy Fight? <laughs> yeah. Um, Noro, Star Striker. Uh, pay 2 energy and put a unit from your field into this card's soul. Penetrate Soul Guard. That's really nice. Like, genuinely, I can't believe how fast I've been won over by the art style of this. 
Oh, another Sonic Adventure one. I see, I see. Come on, there we go. Uh, let's see, Sapphire Scales. You may only cancel this card during an attack on your opponent's turn, and if you do not have a unit in the center, uh, fizzle the attack and put the top card of your deck into your energy. Two copies of that one. Uh, Shining Blade Wyvern, that's another pretty vanilla one. Uh, Star Gauntlet, uppercutting, utter, uppercutting Knuckle. If this card attacks and destroys your opponent's unit in the center, this card deals damage to your opponent equal to the critical. Four copies of that. Oh, that's cool. It's a soda can. That's neat. Venus Energy. Uh, choose a unit in battle. A unit gains 5,000 power plus 5,000 defense. Oh, there's a QR code here. Oh, very sneaky, clever boy. Oh. There's another copy of the Sapphire Scale, so we get three copies of that. Oh, so these look like our counters that we can use to kind of track the game with. That's pretty neat. And then you clever, you clever person. There you go. You don't even need to bother going to the website. You can just scan this in to learn more. You very clever little boy. There you go. I'm going to leave that. There we go. One, two, three. Cool. You can pause the video and scan that if you want to learn more. Very clever. I, I see I see your game, Speed Robo. Uh, let's open this other deck. Because yes, there's a second deck. And that's the thing I'm really interested in seeing, actually. Is I want to see how different the second deck is. Because obviously the second deck is going to be kind of a different archetype. Maybe based on a different planet. Or something like that. And so I want to see how different playstyle-wise and art design-wise the second deck is. So let's go ahead and do so. So one thing that's pretty cool about this card game is there's going to be no traditional packs. That's why it's called a collectible card game and not a trading card game. Because you're not necessarily cracking open packs. Instead, you are um, getting bundles of cards similar to these decks. Where you know exactly what you're getting before you get it. And then to get the holographic cards, because you're probably wondering, this is a card game, where are the holographics? To get the holographics, you actually win tournaments. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's see. This one is Ryujin Night Striker Dragon. That's pretty cool. Are those like glasses? I'm gonna like. I don't think they're glasses. There's some kind of like targeting system on its eyes. Those look really cool, actually. And it's a cyborg dragon. I like the, the little bits of flavor. And then we get the other side here. Uh, so that's cool. Soul Guard, etc. And then this gate looks very different. Alpha Centauri, that's really cool. Uh, where was the other uh, gate card? I had it over here. There we go. Yeah, the two gates look very different. Very different uh, color scheme and everything. That's pretty neat. Gate. That's, ooh, wow. And then, yeah, these all have the normal bank. Uh, destroy a cyber dragon. So these two decks seem very dragon-themed so far. Alpha Barrier, I love the art. Genuinely, I'm kind of shocked by how charming the art style is. Uh, this is very nicely done, you know? Like, this is the kind of art style you should strive for if you're on a budget, you know? you got to make it very charming. Uh, let's see, Alpha Energy. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we have Alpha Memory. I'm seeing a pen here. Uh, discard your hand, draw three cards. A lot of these cards do seem pretty similar in terms of effect, but to be fair, you know, when you're starting off, you've got to have some more vanilla decks to work with, so that does make sense. Beam Blade Meteor. Uh, Speed Robo did also mention that because this is a small game, that means it's very easy to listen to the fan base. So if you have anything you want to contribute or... Um, kind of talk about or discuss, then he is free to do so. Like I said, links and so on and so forth will be in the description or on the QR code at the end of these decks. So, uh, Beam Sword, uh, Refraction. Rainbow Striker, Horror Hunt. Horror Hunt's a cool name. Uh, we got Ryujin Night Striker Dragon again. Here we go. And then we got Tamagia Aquaribus. <laughs> God, these are so weird. But like, I like that it's weird. Uh, Tamagia Metal Storm. That's pretty neat. 
Uh, Tamagia Musket. Tamagia Winchester. That's a really cool one. I love like the colored line art on that. It's pretty nice. Uh, Twin Star Flare Maximilian. Let's look at the effect of this one. When his card enters the field, destroy a unit on your opponent's left or right. Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a very cool looking card. You may only cast this card if your opponent has no unit in the center. Your opponent's life is five or less, and you have a limit to or greater unit with two or more soul. Deal five damage to your opponent. Wow. Those are very cool. Put those on there. Tamagia Metal Storm. And then another Warp Nest. Cool. And then once again, another nice little counter thing to kind of track things with, with the gate image on the bank. That's very nice, very useful, very much appreciated. Don't like tracking those numbers in my head. I'd much rather place like a dice or something on one of these to track things instead, so that's very nice. Once again, QR code, just in case you missed it the first time, with the normal bank. And then you have System Gate is a card game where the players create their own decks and so on and so forth. We've already read this before. Combine. Combine is a keyword that can be activated during your main phase. Take the card with the combine keyword from your field and place it onto Cyborg Dragon unit in your field. That's really nice, actually. I like that. That's a cool... It's a cool little mechanic. So yes, there is that system gate basically. Um, got like a half sleeve deck because I got impatient halfway through, but that's okay. Uh, that's, I mean, they got a few like dragon shield sleeve cards, but yeah, these are pretty nice. I do like the artwork takes up so much of the card. That's very, very nice. Um, and then, you know, you just got your back of your dragon shields. You don't need to tell, you don't need me to tell you what a dragon shield feels like. I'm pretty sure you've used them before if you're watching this. But yeah, that's a pretty cool looking game, honestly. Like that was a fun little look at the game and how the cards were laid out and presented and everything. Uh thank you, Speed Robo, for this review copy. Now you may notice here that I didn't actually talk about really how the game plays, other than comparing it to Buddy Fight, and that's because I am planning on making a follow-up video to this once I've played a few games myself. And now I can do so. Now, you're probably wondering, well, you know, how do I play now? Because as far as I'm aware, these review copies are the only physical copies that exist right now. Uh, so you can't just buy the cards right now, but there are digital ways of playing so, like uh, playing the game. Uh, there's like a digital app or something that teaches you the rules. So if you're interested in that, like I said, speedrobogames.com. So I'll hold this again. I'll hold this up again one last time. So there's that. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'll see you later with some more videos. This is a very interesting uh, looking game. It looks very cool. And thank you again to Speed Robo Games for the opportunity. Not just Speed Robo himself, but everyone who worked on this. I think this is a very cool looking game. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with it in the future. And like I mentioned, this is very Buddy Fight inspired. So if you're sad that Buddy Fight got cancelled and you're looking for something else that's very similar to play, well then this was practically made for you. So I'll see you later with some more videos. And remember, for every brand new indie card game, there's always an asterisk.